Hello, my name is Kiman and welcome to my In The Bag for the 2019 season. I haven't done any major changes since last year, but I got one new mold to show you guys. Uh, I'm gonna start off with my distance drivers. So I use Grim X for distance. This one is my main crusher. It's a 169 grams pop top Grim X. So this one really gives me the distance. This one is my favorite. Uh, it's perfectly beaten in, been in my bag for like three years now. And this one is my straight shooter. Uh, this one was the first I ever got. So this one is really beaten in. So use this mainly for Anheuser's and Heiser flips. And the last one. Uh, this one is really flat. I use it only for forehands. Uh, I don't have much of a forehand when it comes to distance, but this disc really gives me more confidence doing it. I carry two Rask in my bag. I uh, use them for shorter forehands, um, S-curves, Heiser bombs, and if it's uh, less windy, I use the Beaten in one, and if it's more wind, I use the brand new one. I carry two Stål in my bag and the same thing as Rask. Uh, I use it for S-curves, Heiser bombs, shorter forehands and if it's less wind I use the beaten in one and if it's more wind I use the uh, brand new one. And then we have Kaxe. I carry two K1s in my bag. Um, Kaxe is a perfect disc for me. It's a hybrid so it's a um, mid-range in profile and fairway driver in diameter. So I get the best of both worlds, straight and far, at least for me. Uh, I use it up to like 110, 120 meters. And if I like to have something more straight, I use the K2 version. So this one... Uh, for me, at least, is um, a bit more understable, uh, still stable, but a bit less stable. Um, so up to like 100 meters, super straight shots, I use the K2 version. Uh, been using it a lot now during the winter, uh, but uh, now it's going to have a place in the bag for the summer as well. Uh, I carry one in the K3 plastic. Uh, this one I never use off the tee. Uh, this one is a lifesaver. Um, it's get out of trouble disc and uh, I really like this one. And then for the new mold, Göte. Uh, Göte it, uh, is a great addition to my bag. Um, it's a point and shoot disc. So I use it for heiser flips, straight shots and uh, anheisers. Uh, up to like 100 meters. Um, yeah, they, I like them new and uh, as heavy as possible. And then I carry two K1 Reco. Uh, I use them for the same thing as Göte, but maybe 10 or 20 meters less. And then I have one K1 battery in my bag. It's stamped with K2, but it's a K1. So the K1 I use for um, approaches uh, when I need a bit fade in the end or when it's um, windy, then I use this one. I carry two K2 battery. Uh, this one is my baby. I would cry if I lose it. Uh, this one is really flat and a, a real straight shooter, almost no fade. So regardless the angle up to like 70 meters, I use this one. Uh, the other one is a pure backup, rarely never use it, but um, someday when it's my baby gets too understable or if I lose it, uh, this one is gonna be 
the new baby and uh, this one is uh, 169 grams uh, and I think it's best in weight around 170 at least for me uh, then I have one K3 battery as well uh, mainly for approaches uh, I use I'm mainly a forehand approacher so the combo with the K3 and battery is perfect uh, it doesn't go too far and it allows me to go very aggressive to the basket when I don't have it get any big rebounds so the last disc in my bag is my main powder K3 Reco um, I say that your main powder is like wine it gets better the more time you have it in your bag uh, so that was my bag I'm gonna pack up now and I'm gonna go out and uh, throw them all and you see how they fly <laughs> 